some point. Hello, everybody. Uh, Welcome to Life Recording. Here. And uh, look what I did, guys. We kind of saw this last time if you watch Lynx's episodes. He kind of stalked me when I was building this. But uh, it's finished now, and it looks really cool. Ow, my I don't know how often we'll use it, but I, I, I like it. I also added a bed in here and another another chest full of some crap Ow. there. Oh, I also killed another pillager, so I got some more ominous bottles, which is really cool. Pillagers. Uh, what's his face? I think your name's Gregory. Where did Gregory even go? There he is. Uh, he grew up! Oh. He's a big old duck now. Look at him. All full of life. Play some tunes. Let's make this the best recording ever. Ah! Oh, well, hi! Okay, bye. <laughs> I just oh. hatched that and it's already running away. Hello there. Would you like friendship? Oh, okay, you're in the way. <laughs> Anyways, your house is over here. And then I also built this awesome thing for you. Look at this. I don't know what I was doing with it, but I like how it turned out. You got some chests, a crafting table. It's kind of like your outside work area, and it's like naturally made. Interesting. Oh, the cup. This isn't the prison, is it? No. Doors over here. Over here. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Where are you? Right here. What the? Oh, like, where did you go? Hey, look, mud! What the? Can I help you? Why are they like. Oh, why are they like dark? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, well, you see, you said you wanted a teddy bear, so I gave you one. They didn't like being in your presence, so they were filled with dark eco. That's generally creepy. They have, they have negative energy. That's the stuff of uh, nightmares. Stuff of nightmares. Oh, here's all your stuff I got you. Here's all your supplies that I paid you back with for what you. Are these got. all stone? I don't know what they are, to be honest with you. This is smooth stone. This is mud, and this was—I don't even remember what this is called, but it's a new block I discovered. And that looks kind of cool, actually. I know. Oh, and if you look behind the bears, or better yet, here, come outside. There's a smooth version of it that I used for the bases. That's kind of cool, Tom. I actually really like this. There was a third one, too. I didn't use it at all in the build, but it was kind of cool. And I was going to extend your house, but that didn't plan out. And as you can see, a lot of cobble structures just kind of took form everywhere. I call it the Lynx effect. Ever since you moved in, the earth is corroding away, and all these strange monoliths and things. Yeah, all these is shifting around ground. itself. Basically, the earth is—it's like growing all these strange structures because you're in the area. So you've plagued it with cobblestone. So you want to go walk through the cobblestone? Yeah, sure. Why not? There's a lot of there's a lot of cool, interesting structures. At least I think they're cool, interesting. So I don't know. You can even, you can even walk in some of them. Because they didn't form completely, so you can even go in them. I don't recommend that, but you can do that. These must have been left by the agents. He was left by a Reginald. Reginald, get back in your spaceship. Hey, you look at all this, man. Like, that one looks like a building over there. Did you make these, or were these ones you tried to kill me? Uh, that's hard to say. It just kind of happened after you moved in. What yeah, after Link showed up, these Wait, why is that one on fire? I don't know. There's fire so over there. The, the earth is changing, Lynx, and ever since you moved in, these structures just kind of appeared. They've come in many shapes and sizes. What? This is kind of cool. Oh, wait till you see over here. Because it goes the whole way over the mountain, too. What the heck? I know, that's wild. What? Look at all this. Look, there's another tower right there. The Earth Same. is changing. You've changed history. All I did was squish the mosquito. You dirty boy. Oh, thank you. Look, I this one's even dirt. open. Look, we can even explore this one. Oh, did I see more fire? Oh, yeah, more fire. Ah! oh careful. Things are on fire around here. 
The earth is changing, Link. Ah! Oh, 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 my flash! Oh, my God, what the fuck am I on fire? Help! Oh, my God, why would you do this to me? I did! The tree was oh, on fire! simple tour guide, you bastard! <laughs> Ow. My Oh, uh, look at this. Look at this right here. Oh, this is crazy. Look at this. It's like I wonder where the forest is catching on fire right now. <laughs> The earth is changing. Like, That's kind of terrifying. He just randomly catches on fire. Would you stole like a horror look, look mod? The size of this mountain, huh? Would you do stole like a horror mod? Uh, no, I did this all myself. I didn't. There's no mods. This was all just Toma. And that's the end of the tour, I think. Wait, there might be one more. Did we see the one behind Ethan's house? Yeah, I know. I remember that one. No, 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 it's like right behind his house. Hold on, I think it's up here. I don't know if we can get there. I See, that's from when you were here over there. All that water. Uh. Yeah, that's your doing. You did that. You caused a great calamity. The land is flooding and corroding into rock. The fish must be more abundant over there. You've done some terrible things. What was that? You want more fish? Is that right? I said the fish must be more abundant over there. That's probably true. Ah, right here. Here we are. Look, you can even see up here. Look. Look up here. There's even some obsidian forming. What the heck? Look at that down there. And then you come here. Look at this. This is behind Ethan's house. You can see it spirals down. Look at that. So weird. I know. And it's all because you live here now. You've done this. How do you feel about it? Is it Your wrong? Your match really well with that uh, helmet. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Well, interesting. Looks like it's part of the helmet. Um... I don't know what to say on this. I don't know whether to feel really bad about it or not. You should probably feel really bad. You're killing plant life and replacing it with rocks. You're spreading a disease. I would feel horrible. You should have a guilty conscience as far as I'm concerned. Oh, also, Ethan has a bunch of ducks now. Oh, right. Ethan's a dad. Yes. He's a father to the karate ducks. Have you met them? He no the longer karate closes ducks. his door, and he lets them roam free. I'm sorry, did you say the karate ducks? I did, yes. They'll violently karate chop you if they don't like you. What the heck? Oh, look, another one. Yeah, two. Excellent. More for the collection. Hey, quit feeding those. I'm gonna start karate chopping things. Don't feed these. Look, now they're chasing you. Ow! Ah, sweet, a third one. Excellent. <laughs> Quit feeding those! <laughs> They'll get bigger. <laughs> there's so many! There might be even more inside. Yeah, there's some inside, too. Ah, sweet, How many one. ducks are in there? What is this? Uh, there's a lot of them. Perfect, another one. Excellent. <laughs> what if he, he's just running out of <laughs> Oh, I look more eggs. Oh, is he getting does he oh, another one. <laughs> Is he just building his own army? Uh he, I, someone, yeah, sure. Are they all sitting on their own accord? Are they all named or how are they sitting? I don't know. I didn't name a single one of them. I was supposed to, but I didn't. I was lazy. Name them all Carl and Carl Jr. No, we're gonna need them karate duck one, two, three, just keep going. Ah, oh, perfect, another egg. Excellent. There's so many freaking. Oh, and of course, we still have Speedy Gonzalez dying in this room. <laughs> oh, I have another egg. I don't even know where that came from. God, these things keep shitting out eggs like the wazoo. I miss his sexy voice. I even miss his eggs. Hello, Zombos. Uh, oh, that's not good. Please don't get anyone killed here. All right, We're dead. we should get out of here before something terrible happens to his property again. Rigby, can you move, please, Rigby? 
It's okay. He's he's trained. I'm gonna go this way. Oh look, Ricky wants to see his girlfriend. Was that a black man out of the Yes. Excellent. No, oh, my Ow. cow! My meat! I will, I will give it to you. I, I didn't mean to pick it up. I was killing the skeleton. <laughs> I'm headed to my to my this place. Oh, to your six state. To your estate? My little uh what we call the fish hut, it's my house. Oh. And I'll live there. Clink 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 clink. Oh hi. Oh I thank you. So then what become of your old place then? What do you mean? It's just there. It's like a supply hut now or something. Interesting. I'm also growing crops in there and stuff. I got a lot going on. Over I, but it, it's just so far away, and it's just faster, because we usually end up going to Ethan's house all the time. I figured I'd just move into the fish hut. I don't know. I think it's more efficient. Especially with you moving back. And not like it was my choice, but I also put you, like, relatively closer to Ethan's place, so we're all, like, kind of in a, a similar area, you know? Um... Oh, I didn't provide you with a bed, did I? Oh. I was just thinking about that as I did this. Okay, uh, hold on. I should have... Oh, I'm not giving you an actual bed. We're going to build you one instead. Um... Shouldn't I just take one from my abandoned property? I don't even know if there's one in there, to be honest with you. I mean, I can go look, but... Oh, hi. Hi. You're very uncivilized. Came and take the bridge I took time to build, or just die. I wanted to, I wanted to go for a frisky swim, but I realized I can't swim. Oh, you poor man. Very very poor man. Because if not, I should have materials in my other house to build a bed. Oh, you do have a bed in here. All right. I'll bring you this this bed. Where are you? There you are. One bed. Look out behind you. Freaking ge Adam. I'll take those points. He's, he, they're dead man now. Yeah, they are. I wasn't arguing with that. I just wish Tom I wish we had spider armor in this game still. Every day, I do miss dungeons. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd love to play dungeons at some point again. That was honestly really fun. I don't even know if it's gotten any updates yet or not. Especially when we have Eddie involved, involved too, and we have a four Pete man in there. Ah, oh, yes, the four man crew. Good times, good times. But we'll keep it as a three man crew for now. I don't need any Princess Trunks situations going on. <gasps> oh. Oh, that didn't... Oh, I am just now... Oh, oh, that is... That is a design flaw. And not rest. There are monsters nearby. What could possibly need near... Oh. Oh. <laughs> what could possibly... Hello there, Mr. Enderman. Oh, I never built you a flag yet, by the way, because Ethan's the one that designed the Canadian flag last time. Uh, but at some point, I am going to build you a giant white flag with a red L, <laughs> symbolizing a lynx country. Oh, I thought you were going to make an L for loser. No, for Lynx. What? I mean, it can stand for loser. Don't <laughs> like... fight you on this. I mean, <laughs> that's Excellent. your A flag made for a chump of a duelist. I mean, you are a chump of a duelist. I mean, we, we all know the, the, the facts. I make your fucking comeback. <laughs> I'm trying, but you see, Master Duel is seven months fucking behind when it comes to the actual card game. Uh, so all of my cards won't be added for quite some time. In the Bro, meantime, I, though, I, I can offer you Maru, Scott, well, not Scott, Lynx, Jeff, or Is Sally that me? Do like me? <laughs> I thought about actually asking you to duel today. Because technically the, th the two cards missing aren't really that important. One of them is a little fairy card he hasn't even used yet, which is extremely powerful. And then Dante of the Burning Abyss, who I don't even, he, he's not that necessary to Lynx's deck. Mm. He was just, he's the just there. Star that we used. He's just there. He was. He. I mean, he has a nice ability. Discard a certain amount of cards, and you get like a thousand attack or something. 
per card or whatever. Actually, that would be kind of good for the Light Sworn deck now I think about it. Dante? Yeah, because you just card into the graveyard. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, there was a card I read. I, f I didn't send it to you because I didn't want to make your Liberal Mancers any more terrifying. Uh, but it was a spell card, and essentially what it was is it if you had a ritual monster in your hand, you could target another card on the field. And then your ritual monster would become that level, so you could like summon it faster if you didn't, if you had like fewer monster cards. Or I monsters. heard of that card, but it's something for the Oblivion Queens, or whatever. The Oblivion Queens yeah. actually, I think, are really good. I've seen they some are. stuff about them. Ethan's used them before, and I've I've seen them before. I like them, but yeah, it's for their deck, and I was like, oh, he could use this. So I was like, I'm not. So that. where would you like to go today? Um. Well, honestly, I wanted to go with Ethan back to that thing. So I could figure out what level it's on, so I know where it spawns. But I don't know where it specifically is. He does. So I guess you and I can just uh, start walking. But first, catch Rigby. That's an omelet. You eat that. It's good for you. But yeah, so many good cards, so many good cards. Dude, I'm getting, I, I was talking to Ethan about this, but I told you about how he bought two of the boxes I'm getting. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of good archetypes coming with that box set, and I bought four of them. So I'm going to be hopefully building some really cool decks. I still I still eventually want to see a polymerization put in your Amazonist deck in real life, as much as I know you will. Yeah. I don't know if I'll, if I'll personally use it. But I might. I don't know when that's even releasing. But it just sounds like such a saint card for that deck. Speaking of cards, I need to buy Michael, the Light Sworn Archon, because somebody I thought forgot I... to purchase that. I thought I... Oh, is I... oh, I not buy him? I bought no, the other three, but not him. You bought every one of them except him. They came in today. You bought Minerva and Judgment Dragon. I thought I... Judgment Dragon of the Heavens, not Judgment Dragon. Different card. It's called Judgment Dragon. Ju Judgment, the Dragon of the Heavens. It's a synchro. It's a yeah, dragon. that's a different. That's a, that's a synchro variant of them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what you bought. So I'm telling you, they came in today. So I. What the? Whoa! What is that? Hello. What are you? Come back here, little friend. You're absolutely adorable. Oh. What did you find? What did you find? A bird. Oh, come come back here. It's Robin. I guess he's naturally hey, attracted to a Batman. <laughs> Where'd it go, bro? Robin, come, come back! Come back, come back come Robin! Hey, hey, guys, I'm, I'm holding a, a sword. So your Robin's yeah, flying away. Why? I want to call it Penguin. I want to call him Mr. Penguin. Come back, Mr. Penguin. You take seeds? No. I don't know. Oh, you do take know. seeds. Don't tame it. Where'd it go? After that bird. Where'd it go? But yeah, I need that card at some point. I got so some I seeds here I'm to give you if you find them. When I'm gonna, when I'm gonna get around to. to I can't find them since you failed to buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy them tomorrow. After. Oh, that's actually beautiful. Thank you. You just was... planted your seeds. Or that was a sapling. Tree. Wait a minute, you planted a sapling. What the frick? Where did that bird go? <laughs> it just, just flew away. Damn. Oh, uh, well. At least we have seeds for next time. But yeah, I'm excited because I'm going to be using that card in... Hey, there it is! is! I'm going to use Get it, it in uh, the next episode. Come here, birdie. <gasps> my last pack of seeds did it. Does it ride my shoulder? Does it ride my shoulder? <gasps> Does it? No. Where, no. Where are you? Go Hi. No, a parent, Hello, Mr. Penguin. Hi. Let's take you home. Move. To follow you? It does follow you. It's following me. Yeah, it has hearts. Like, it's mine. I'm gonna take you home. You can live at the fish hut with me! Close your eyes, Mr. Penguin. I have to commit various war crimes. Hmm, mustard gas. 
What? Don't worry, Toma. I made mustard gas out of honey mustard. That is truly terrifying. Bottoms up. You can keep going somewhere, and I can like oh. teleport to you. Okay. If you want, I mean, you can follow me back too. I mean, I don't care. I'll follow you but back. Just, it's the it's the buddy system. All right, that where I'm I'm cool with that. That's fine. Where's my birds? It's still. There you are. A good dirt bag leaves a dirt bag behind. <laughs> a true soldier leaves a dirt bag behind. <laughs> Bruh, those memes. I tell you what. I'm Woody. Ha 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 ha. Your house isn't too small, by the way. Right? No. No. Okay. Because that was one of my concerns. I thought it was a little small. It's just the right size. I don't know about that, because you made a gargantuan house in the desert. I made it too big. Mm. Well, I also, as you can see, I gave you an outside area, so you can do some farming, too. I wasn't sure if that was something... And you that's where I'll raise all my pigs! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I saw a video about this pig. I think his name was Chowder. Uh, and they were screaming for him because there was like a massive flood. I think I think this was in Florida. I don't know. Uh, but there's like a massive flood, and this freaking pig is just casually standing in the rushing water, looking around, sniffing for food. And one, one of the comments that he's looking for his oats, brother. <laughs> that pig needs his oats. No, I was just like, oh my god. Funniest shit I've ever seen. All right. Uh, where I gotta? Put yeah, that'd be you... good. I'll put you over there. Um, do I have Brother, the may I have some gems? Uh, no. Okay, we have a lead. Perfect! I have everything I need. Now, where should I... Where should I put you? Do you want to be in my room? You want to stay here? No, no, no. You, you want to see the sun. Probably. I'm sure. So let's put you here. Um, creepers really shouldn't spawn here, I don't think. And with the if you walls, have lights, you shouldn't really no... spawn. I do have lights. Uh, where... Where'd you go? Are you waxing this, uh, copper, by the way, so it doesn't turn green? No. You just gonna let it turn green? Yeah, it's naturally gonna age. Where... I just saw him. Where the... F... Mr. Penguin, where did you... There you are. Come, come here. No, Mr. Penguin. <sighs> come here, you freak. He flew away. I got him. Now he's stuck. Okay, I should Ooh. also have a name tag and an anvil somewhere. Maybe not in this particular... Oh, I have it right here. Oh, uh, maybe he's not going to spawn any more ducks because Ethan has too many ducks in this house. That's fine with me. We didn't need any more. Alright, your name will be... Oh, we got another one! Mr... There's so many. Mr. Penguin! Hello, There's Mr. So Mr. Penguin! Duckles. You don't have the penguin at all! There's Come so on, many duckles! Todd, can you do anything with your life? Oh. Sad species. At least oh. Mr. Penguin's flying. You just sit there looking like that. Why, oh. you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I did put on some pounds. Bro, Gregory, Gregory let himself go. Look, he's even sitting in front of my freaking cookers! He's waiting for food, you fat turd! Oh, <laughs> or maybe God, he wants to so be food. Hungry. Oh, is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, no, someone made him sit for some reason. He was stuck. What the frick? Bruh. Someone someone hijacked my, my freaking thing. All right, uh, let me put all this crap away. Put all this there. Uh, I don't... Actually, I can just... I can plant this somewhere. I don't need a sapling. Alright. Let's go. Um, here. Here's a housewarming gift for you. Oh boy, I hope it's dirt. Well, you're half right. It goes in the dirt. <laughs> Is that, uh, that tickle you fancy there, sir? Just what I've always you... wanted. A lemon tree! A lemon tree? I wish they had different variants of trees in this game. That'd be kind of cool. There are different variants, actually. For for an add-on. I mean, if you're talking, like, officially, there's not. Uh, hell, there's no. Not even a, but you're well, really surprised they've never done that yet. 
there's a new type of wood coming in the uh, Pale Garden, which I guess technically is a new tree, but not really, because most people are saying it's just a dark forest, but just gray. Mojang was kind of lazy with this. I don't think that maw, that new maw can technically be killed either, by the way. It can. I, I already know the trick to kill it. And that is... That spoils the fun. I want you to struggle and suffer. Oh. Look, 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 look at it this way. All right. Where did you go? I was from my. Uh, there you go. The pale garden's not even out yet, so I mean, you have nothing to worry about. It's not like it's gonna show up here. Hmm. You make at a good point. Least, you should just you should worry about trying to find a fucking child. Oh, what the heck? Why are there a lot of zombie villagers? Is there a village nearby? Probably. It'd be nice to find a pillager tower. Tower. That'd be kind of cool. Where where are we? That's a good question. Trapped somewhere. I can't see worth nothing. Oh, well, hello there, Jerry. Things, right? Like tools and torches. Like you're, you're good for this. Thing. I have uh, pickaxes, but I do not have any torches. Did I not give you torches? I didn't see any torches. There. I can grab a tree real quick for some sticks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring, bring some, uh, bring some wood. I'll, I'll grab some wood for you too. Yeah, we'll go. We'll. That's what we're. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on a big adventure. We're going to go into a cave, we'll build a little shelter somewhere, we'll bring wood, maybe build some chests, get you some torches and stuff after we get some coal. We're gonna, oh my uh, god, I thought it was that. so funny today because apparently one of my coworkers went to, uh, they went to grab one of their cars that had been sitting in the back lot for a while, and apparently bees decided to make a nest in their car. That is terrifying. But and I hear the most cortex, you know, voice line ever. The bees, not the bees. I'm like fucking trying not to laugh so bad. Oh <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, this is so are, bad. Are they okay though? Like that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're okay. I just like, but it was, I was like, oh my god, it was so terrible. <laughs> I hate wasps so much. It wasn't wasps. Like... It was regular bees. Oh well, I have a wasp problem. You you know Jake. You met him the one day you came to my work. You and Ethan. Yes. He's like my best buddy there. I absolutely love this guy. Anyways, uh, for his lunch breaks, he likes to go outside and sit in the uh, near the sheds. Because, you know, they're big and it's just away from people. Well, his favorite shed is particularly made of wood. OSB and stuff like that. Uh, the hornets have decided to start breeding in there. There is like Yee. five to six nests, six nests in there. And they've been there for months and no one will do anything about it. And I've told managers multiple times, and they just they just don't they just no. don't care. Even though customers can freely look in there to see if they want to buy the fucking thing. Uh, but yeah, we no longer go in that shed. Uh, to make a long story short, this is like a great shed to buy, there. honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honey, look! Oh, look at all the potential danger. Oh, the children will love getting all those bee stings. It'll be great. Do you know those wasps? Great, even better. They're painful. I, I hear oh, they're allergic to them. Me. <laughs> Whatever it was, it went away. It was a baby wait, zombie. Wait, wait, what did you just say? I, 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 I think our kids are allergic. To bees, the movie. <laughs> you put the TV in there and just keep it on repeat all day for them. That's they stop awful. breeding. It's like <laughs> they... the fake Minecraft videos. He just traps his family in a box and they think they're living a real life. And he's just manipulating it from the outside. Wait a second, I'm not dead. Or am I? Oh, hey, you're a Sonic fan, kind of, right? Yeah, somewhat. Did you, did you see the new uh, Sonic X Shadow Generations game? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I, I saw it. I might buy it, to be honest with you. It's... Not because it looks interesting or anything to me, but just because I haven't played a, a modern Sonic game. Sonic Literally, Generations I was think really Sonic good. Sonic Riders and Sonic Heroes. Like, I have Regular Sonic games. Generations was good, and the Shadow Shadow, it makes it even better. Like, it was a very good game. Never played so, it again. I have Sonic not, Generations not played is very short, though. 
I mean, I just want to play a Sonic game in general. I just haven't played in a long time. I am kind of a little bit irritated, though. About what? So, like, I know, like, a lot of people have been all happy about Sparking Zero and all that stuff. I'm certainly not. But keep going. But um, I'm just a little irritated at how they just kind of kept it, like... It's not like it's original, like, you know, Budokai Tenkaichi 1, 2, and 3. Like, it's no. different in aspects. It, it's but, very different. It's also really cringy. I've been seeing some of the uh, interactions between the characters, and it's just like, bro. Like, Future Gohan always sounds like he's just straight up tired. Like, he's just, like, so beat. And it's like, dude, Future Gohan what happened? Sound like Future Gohan anymore. He just sounds like Gohan from the Boo Saga now. Yeah, I know. It's only even I, him I think the original actor was a different voice actor. He was the same the, guy for the future Gohan movie. He was the guy who voiced Perfect Cell, which it just makes me so weird, though. So it was a different actor then. Yeah, yeah it's because just... it's because they just had the Gohan guy. Uh, sorry, I don't know his name. They had him do future Gohan as well for the game, and it's just like I am just not. There's a lot of my favorite characters aren't added, and just the, the it's just, like lines. then they added like GT character, but they didn't have like Super Seventeen, which is I'm like, okay, yeah. this makes no sense. I'm like, what? and the other thing that bothers me too is the big characters. They you know they made a whole thing about how they brought those back, but they're limited. Like it only looks like certain big characters were brought back. It's not like every Saiyan has their giant forms or whatever. At least and they're like, and they're boosting how they have like a big roster when it's just characters with multiple transformations counting as characters. I'm like, oh, that's so bullcrap. Yeah, it, it, I, I'm, I'm glad I, I got off the hype train quickly. Like, I'm, I'm still gonna buy it, but it's just gonna yeah, be one of those games like I'll so. play once in a while, but it's, it's just not gonna live up to the Tenkaichi Three hype. I actually, after you know, watching all this crap for this game, I actually want to rebuy Budokai Tenkaichi Three. Like, I generally I, like 3. It is such a good game. I just feel... Just seeing this makes you really kind of hurts me a little bit because I feel like it's just going to be pitting you by microtransactions, which it already is. Yeah, which I'm told a lot of the DLC is just going to be from Dayama and uh, Super or uh, Heroes or whatever. Like, it's not, it's not going to be any of the old... It's all, like, new people for the DLC. kind of bothers me because, like... It's just like, you say that everybody from, like, 3 was going to be included in this game, and not even everybody from 3 is in this game. Oh, there's, like, a good chunk of them missing. Super 17's one of them, by the way. I know. It just, and it that, still bothers that me. Just, that, that, I was like, are you fucking serious? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a problem, alright? It's definitely not for everyone, but it's doing so well. Like, everybody's, like, obsessed with this game. It outranked Call of Duty... Uh, for pre-orders, like it's doing extremely well. I do I like how everybody's really raging happy. about Pride and Fight Grade Eight Vegeta, though. I think that's that freaking hilarious. That has cracked me up so hard. Konami even made a statement. They said either lower the difficulty or get good scrub. And <laughs> oh, I I'm like the so original hard. one was like that too. If you weren't good, you just got attacked by cheap tactics and tra and tricks. Like, what do you oh, expect? Me spamming. The, the original so Budokai was the you. same way. Like, if you didn't know how to fight Cell, you were screwed. Yeah, oh, dude, fighting Super Boo in the original Budokai was, uh, something else. I don't know. Then I hear, like, Boo and Budokai 2, like, the original, like, 2D fighting one, was a nightmare. And I'm like, dude. Yeah, I watched I'm Team like, 4 Star try that, and it was pretty funny. I'm like, but yeah, oh I don't my. Know. There, it's just not, there's, I don't know. And there's just nothing there that I personally was, like, really grabbed on that I wanted to buy it. I just really want to buy Budokai Tenkaichi 3 again, and I want to do the Soul Games with you. I'll never forget. I free. I don't. We didn't. We didn't record it. This was just you and me personally playing. But you but we did the Soul Games, and it was me. I think you were uh, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan. I forget who I was, but I had to fight Final Form Cooler, and this AI went ballistic and just like I. That was Raging Blast 2. Who? That was Raging Blast 2. No, 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 no! This was for the Cell Games. This was, this was in. Uh, yeah, we did the, we did the Cell Games in Raging Blast. Remember, Meta Cooler just went. There is no Cell Games in Raging Blast. There's a, there's a tournament-based thing, but there's no, there's no Cell Games. At least not like in Budokai Ten Tenkaichi Three. I'm talking about from Budokai Tenkaichi Three because I remember we, we, I was fighting him in Cell's arena. 
But anyways, I just remember it, he, he, that AI was so insanely strong. And then you almost lost to him too. And it was like, oh, it was the craziest victory. We were cheering. Oh, dude, it was so hype. But it was you know great. what I, you know what I really want to do if I was that big of an asshole for Sparking Zero? Because uh, technically you can make your... Gigantuan circle. I see that. If we could make yeah. our own uh, what ifs. You can do your own what if. I want to make a what if we're just talking whole... about the corrupt companies. Gosh, Vegeta, isn't it sure bad how we made a game where we don't have all the characters included? I know, that's, Kakarot. No, that's, that's just cringe. That's not even a word. If only they were true gamers and give me 50 gamer bucks. It's, it's one thing to hate on a, on a, on a game, but don't don't don't, don't be unrealistic. With put it. put the put the gaming Vegeta in there. Pick fifty dollars, Piccolo. Bro, the amount of memes that they put in this game, I just that I don't like. Like I I expect that stuff from, like, the bridge stuff. Or yeah, yeah, Yajirobe, Goten calling eighteen a baddie, Trunks using Trunks modern just... slang. Like, bro. I expect yeah. to see this in something like the, unofficial. This like is the an freaking, official Dragon Ball game. Like the freaking crap, game. though. Like, I don't know. That it's it's minor, but it rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I don't want to see that in an official draw. That that's why I don't like Super. Super was too joke heavy. I'm and sure you already. Like, just, I'm I sure you like already this. saw the Black Gohan What If too. I was like, oh Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, they made that a thing. I was I was more I was expecting it to be that, future actually. Gohan though. Like it's like that may or made more sense. No, it actually wouldn't have because No, I mean you're not wrong, but I mean or actually or wait. No, I guess you're right cuz I just the, I always think that's a different Trunks cuz he's like completely different from the original. But I guess you're right. That is future Trunks. So I guess, yeah, it, it would have made more sense to be future Gohan. Because it would have caused a little more emotional pain, if anything else. Oh, hey, look at It's Archie! <gasps> Archie! We found Yippee! Archie! Yippee! Hi, Archie. Can I interest you in some running, please? Yeah. <gasps> ah! <laughs> and he just like, hey, he died. <laughs> and Archie's swimming away. <laughs> Oh, Archie. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him! <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, I'm just very disappointed at how much they, 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 they boosted the game, and it's just... I don't know. I mean, graphically, it looks okay. It looks, it looks nice. appealing, but it just... They could have done a lot more. Especially for $70, I feel like there's a lot. Some sure. people just pay it, bought the $100, $100 edition for, like, 3D early access. I'm like, bro. Oh, the 3D it's early not... access. I'm yeah. like, it's not worth that. No, they didn't even have co-op. They they literally shoehorned that in last minute because people were complaining. And the fact that you can only battle in the hyperbolic time chamber, the most boring map in the entire game. Like, bro, what? That's kind of a an insult to people who still play co-op. Like, what what if we wanted to sit down and play a cool map? You can't. Like. You, if you want to play a cool map, you literally have to be like, hey, buddy, you got to go Toma, home. there's a pirate ship over there. I see that, actually. I think you were already here, though. Because uh... I think I saw torches on it. Could have been a fence post, but I thought they were torches. Treasure. Oh, there's no treasure. Dang, we've been had. <laughs> Where'd they pick the treasure? Bro. Oh no. I've hey, been crab. Here. Crab, 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 crab. It's only one. Tell crab! Oh, it's a snake! Where? It's a different color, though. I wasn't huh. sure what it was. You see it over there? Just follow your nose. But the fruity snakes the show. Apparently. I get down here without killing myself. No. I like that hurt your ankles. A little bit, a little bit. But we're gonna go over here. Have oh, you been joining us tonight or no? I mean, a swimming iguana. Toma. Huh? Is he even joining us today? He's gonna take a while, because he was st he was at Walmart last I was talking. So why are you having devices. internet issues? What exactly has been happening? I don't. It's just not the internet's cutting out, and then I have to go downstairs and meddle with the machine. 
unhook stuff, rehook stuff up, so it just reconnects. It just keeps disconnecting today for some reason. Interesting. I don't, I don't know why, but, but it lasted long enough today that I was able to accomplish a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, I did so much stuff. So get this. So me and Ethan have been playing Genshin a lot recently, okay? And uh, Shiolin is the newest character. She came out, and she already got a rerun. I've been saving to C6 Hu Tao. I'm going to make a whole video about that. I'm probably not going to actually C6 her, though. Not by choice, just by lack of primo gems and bad math. But uh, I decided to pull for Chiori and her weapon, and I got her very quickly. I think after, like, 20 rolls, or two pulls on the 10s, I guess I should say, uh, I got her. And using her with the Raiden Shogun... Hey, look, your old house. Uh, uh -huh. I've been doing some insane elemental damage. So I decided to look up the boss I would need to fight for Hu Tao's middle ascension item, because I have basically everything else, and I have high numbers of if, of everything else. So I wanted to get that out of the way, and uh, I've been killing this boss without food items within like five or less minutes because of the reactions and all and all this stuff. It's insane. Like, the damage she does. Chiori's become my strongest character, by the way, which is insane. She's stronger than uh, Yunjin, who's been my strongest character for like a year now. She does upwards of... Yunjin does, I, I think, does 1.6k, and uh, Ch Chiori now does 2,000 some damage. And she has, like, maybe 1.5, 1. 1.6,000 in defense. It's absolutely insane how strong she is, actually. But yeah, I got, like, 12 of those little things. They're called Juvenile Jade, I think. But I have 12, 14, 14. I did one more time. I have 14 of those. How many I actually need overall to get her to max 90? I don't know. I've never had a 90 character, so I couldn't tell you. But at the very least, I think I can get her up to 70. So I'm excited about that. And she releases at the end of the month. So that is exciting stuff. I just can't wait to use her, to be honest with you. But, but yeah, I see you haven't played in a while. And if you been like 30 some days since last you played you want to explain yourself you haven't been been logging in to get those get those primos hello oh sorry i forgot my mic was muted for two seconds my phone was talking to me Go. What? that's my fault anyway as i was saying um i um I'm in, I haven't been on because most time I'm on, I'm trying to spend time with you. So usually it can be whatever we want. Like it can be this game or Genshin or whatever because I'm well, trying to have better... Back in, back in Genshin. Because I'm trying to have better time. time. We're, we're at 40 some. We might just play some Genshin tonight then. You want to do that? Okay, that's fine. Because you, I want to I wanna do some stuff for you. Unlock some stuff and all that, you know? Because I've been trying to uh, have better time management and do different... Spend time with you, spend time with Brandon, and so forth. So that way, I don't yeah, constantly yeah, have yeah, one yeah, side yeah, nagging the other. I I get it. It's it's not easy. Thankfully, I I don't have a hard time when it comes to time management because you have a very very strict schedule when it comes to when you can play, and then you hey, can just up all night. So it's like I don't have to think too hard about it. It's like okay, dedicate seven to nine for for links, and then rest of the night if I'm up for Ethan, I don't have to worry about it too too much. Hold up, stop, 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 stop. Where is my Did you forget your water bucket? Where the fuck's my water bucket? Where the fuck's my water bucket? I don't have a water bucket! We're gonna die! Well that's what creative mode's for. Hey, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. See ya brother! Where is my water, though? I genuinely had a water bucket. Where did that go? Give me this. Do you need one? Uh, I mean, that would be nice. There. Over here. Or where? In front of me. And also, look out behind... Never mind. I was going to say look out behind you, but that wasn't a spider. It was a Mexican bug. Oh yeah, we got to play some because I I've been doing a lot in that game, and uh, we got to get you some primos. I mean, you got to log in and get all your free stuff, and 
Oh, dude, you're missing out. Me and Ethan have been having so much fun playing Genshin recently. We did a few new episodes on our on our role play. It's been. I've been shooting. It's at been me. it's been. Oh, there's a skeleton time. over there. I've been having so much fun. Come here, you. What now? Oh, there's a skeleton over here shooting at me. Ow! Well, I hope I hope you're okay. <gasps> oh, I almost looked to the right. There's an enderman right there. Hello, friend. Don't be in any danger now. Let me know when you find an area you want to try and build a little shelter, by the way, so we can cook you some torches and stuff. Um, and don't don't go too far in, because remember, we need to find you coal. Coal spawns I feel like I went. I feel like I went too far down. Hang on, I'm getting back up to you. It's fine. I'm getting coal for you right now, so don't worry. Or, hang on, I'm getting back up. Well, Luckily, this water rare. Oh, hello, Jerry. Please don't blow up. Oh! Uh, well, it looks like you're coming for me. Hi, Jerry. How? I had full health. I was in armor. Ow, what the? I'm actually, you know, I'm genuinely curious how that killed me. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious how that killed me. Can you bring me back, please? How'd that kill me? I don't know. Good luck getting down there. Wait, what the hell? Why'd oh, you want me with a skeleton? Wait, what? Oh, did he follow me in there? What the fuck ah! is he? I'll save you! I didn't know he followed me in here! Playing, I was going to find him! <laughs> playing punches with a skeleton. I didn't know he walked in there! I just knew something was shooting you me, so I was playing punch you with a skeleton! We swapped! That was great. Ow! Oh, yeah, hey, I found some iron. Ow! And now something's attacking me. So what the... Bro, bro, can you, can you just, can you not? Um. Can you just not do that. Okay, thanks. Okay, I got that. Uh, I got two of my pickaxes. So where's the rest of my armor? Okay, I need to. Uh, my pockets are just not. We need to like fix. Them. Right, that'll work for now, I guess. Yeah, you could die, <laughs> zombie. Die. Okay, now where are the rest of my pieces going? Is that going to the lava? Just lava? Wait. Or it dropped down. I don't know yet. I'm trying to find it all. I think it might have... Wait! What's that? Ow. That was my raw iron. Where did you come from? Oh god, there's two of them. Ow. Can I get out? Can I get out of a... Oh, or just okay. not. Well, now there's a lot of bright light down here, so that should... Can you teleport me back? I guess I'm having an episode oh, where I'm no. just dying every five seconds. I'm sorry, what do you want me to do? Teleport you? Yeah, I guess I died again, because I was stuck in the water. I didn't even say it so you died, but yeah, I can teleport you. Thank you. I'd greatly appreciate it. No problem, no problem. This is the episode You're where I just... down, down that... Yeah, back that... Don't go down, don't go down. Unless that's where you were, but I, you were over there. I guess this is the episode where Link's died a lot. Your stuff's that away. Somewhere. How do we... Link's, where are you going? You Wait. weren't over here. No, you're right. Uh, but, 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 you were... Buddy. buddy oh, 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 not doing so well, guys. Please, please send me your social security number and your 401k. Wait, and now to activate my draft card. Wait, I have to wait a turn? Did you check under the table? Uh, Magic Did you check under the table? Oh, no, 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 I didn't. One second. And his name is Magical Cylinder. Da, da, da. God, I hate that card. <laughs> Bro, Magical Cylinder's not even a bad card. What do you mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Mirror Force. It's just his asshole. Oh, I hate Mirror Force. I'd, I'd much rather get hit with a Magical Cylinder. Magical Cylinder can be game-changing. Like, it can like, end the duel in one go if you're strong enough. But thankfully, I don't have monsters that have 8,000 some attacks, so there's no Unless way Unless you use the other trap card, Magic Cylinder, where it actually you can set it directly from your deck. And then it does double the damage back to your, your opponent. That's good. 
Another good trap too. I think Helma actually would use his trap tracks. I actually just removed that from one of my decks. It wasn't one of my decks. Interesting. It isn't a bad card. I actually own the card IRL too, I think. It's somewhere around here. Okay, I am getting bombarded with trap here. What bad things? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily ever call them good things, that's for sure. Oh god, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, we need to, we need to back up, this is, I'm a, coming. This, is a, this is a red zone here. Uh, you have a lot of, oh god, that one has a child, that one has a child. I know, that's why I left, because that one has I was dealing with sword. skeletons down there too. Bro, that one has an enchanted sword. Bro. Oh, I killed him, and I didn't get the enchanted sword, you bastard. Well, that thing just dropped bones and arrows and a bow. There's another one, be careful. Oh, something's shooting me. Thorns, yeah, skeleton. Please kill it now. Go away. No, we need to build a shelter at some point. Yeah, hang on. Let me kill the rest of these guys. Well, I want to get the flat land before we do anything irrational. Ow. I heard that. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Ow. Just some bones are broken. Oh, I have I have bones to replace this. I've been killing these skeletons. I've been hunting and fishing in these woods for years. I've been shooting on the island for three years. Woods, no candy. Ow. Oh, I killed himself. Excellent. Tell more oh, Raphael hi. saga. The Raphael saga. Bro, Ra Raphael has some uh, actually has some really good cards. Like, He's generally a good duelist, in my opinion. I think he was better than the Pharaoh because at least he didn't cheat. That's true. Yeah, he didn't even use any tricks. All he did was put the Seal of Orichalcos in Yugi's hand via fair gameplay. And, and baited uh, into using it, The Pharaoh decided to use it. He gave in to his own desires. Oh. Ain't that terrifying. Damn, that zombie got gold. I actually would like to see what Raphael would use if he was in the modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, like, I see these videos all the time. What would Yu-Gi use in the modern era? What would Kaiba use? And it's like, we already know what they'd use. They, they the use blue eyes, the blue eyes support, all the magician support. Like, this isn't, this isn't an interesting question. What would be interesting to me would be Raphael, because, as far as I'm concerned, what the core I don't use think for his modern deck, deck has gotten a single card of support yet since, since any of his cards released. What would Weevil use in a modern deck? He would just use better insect cards. Battle wasp, in, uh, beetle troopers, generic insects even still. Doomdozer came out in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. That's an awesome card. Chains, a chainsaw insect came out during Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. An awesome card. There, there's a lot of just generic ones. They, uh, insects, uh, they just got a new one. I'm, get, I'm gonna pull it probably in my new box that I'm getting. Uh, it's, it's a supply squad or whatever. Indestructible Ooh. Army of the Insect, I think it's called. And there's also, like, a new fusion for, for regular insects. He'd probably just use any insect card. He could use the, uh, trap tricks, like, showcased in that one silly video. That's another route he could possibly, possibly go. But there's, there's so many insects. And there's a lot of new dinosaur cards, too, for Rex. But again... When when specifically talking about uh, Raphael, his cards, actually, to be honest with you, none of them out of that trio, none of them have any card support since then. So I'd be really curious to see what they would add to their deck, because again, they haven't gotten any big support at all, as far as I know. There's a lot of duelists that I think that their deck archetype never really gets any support, and it's kind of very disappointing. I would never use them, but personally, just because I love Chaz, I would love to see more Ojamas. The Ojamas did get some support in 2009-2010 era-ish kind of kind of way, but I just want to see more. I just want to see where that deck can go. I'd also love to see new support for the Cybers, specifically Alexis's cards, not Cyber End Dragon. We have too many of those. Because she only has Cyber Blader. That's literally her only Oh, fusion. come on now. You loved him. You know you loved him. Loved who? What? Zane. Oh, Zane. I mean, yeah, uh -huh. he's a great duelist, but I wasn't a huge fan of his deck. I just liked Zane as a character, but the Cyber End Dragons are not one of my favorite archetypes. Far from it, in fact. I'm not a huge dragon guy. 
Though I do I do have a soft spot for the armed dragons, but that's mostly just because armory arm. That's Bro, awesome. I actually just removed Armory Arm from my Centurion deck. Well, you could have texted in uh, yeah. in Master Duel. I was doing some retooling with that. Which, by the way, I found an, a perfect spell card for my deck. Oh, this video is at 55 minutes. Um, okay. Well, guys, so... we hope you thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.